Our next performer <laughs> is another first time performer at the Cucumber. Um, he also has the distinct privilege of living 10 feet away from where I do. Uh, please welcome Jack O'Malley. sits on the bench, and no one talks to him because he's not welcome. <laughs> um, so I, I really struggled uh, to make friends, I guess is my point. But um, then my parents tried to set me up with this girl when I was a junior in high school because they knew her parents, and I guess they wanted to complete the circle of us all knowing each other. <laughs> I, I didn't know her at all, so I sort of had to contact her out of the blue. I think her dad warned her, because she was surprisingly nice. And we went to the other formal together, and for weeks and weeks after, my parents pestered me, like, how did it go, how did it go, how did it go? And finally, I had to be like, look, she didn't like me. Like, you just have to accept that it. it didn't go well. So that was the last time my parents tried to set me up with anything. And so then, and luckily now I have this fantastic girlfriend, but I had to look forward to the challenge of getting all our parents together for dinner. And um, I was really scared of a couple things. First of all, I was embarrassed because, for instance, like, my dad is really weird because he, he acts strangely around black people. <laughs> I don't think that he's a racist, it's he, okay, so I have what's called like African hair. <laughs> my dad also has this hair, and so he thinks that he's black. We were at a barber shop, and we were talking to these guys who were cutting their hair, and my dad goes, hey fellas, you seen The Wire? <laughs> No, no, The Wire is an HBO series about drug running in inner city bowl. And they were like, yeah. And he goes, I worked on that show. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> that is a racist. That's a racist thing. <laughs> and my mom was really kind of a space to that, and it's hard to explain, so I had to text my sister earlier today to like get her to tell me why my mom was so weird. And she was like, okay, here's like the best example. We were driving out east on Long Island, and this guy was giving my mom a finger on the highway. So eventually they get or not on the highway, just on the street. So anyway, they get stopped at a light, and my mom is staring at this guy, and finally she rolled down the windows and goes, excuse me, sir, why are you giving me the finger? <laughs> so that's my mom. <laughs> so I was, I was just getting really, really nervous about this dinner. I was thinking about all the ways that things could have gone wrong. Um, my dad agreed to go to the dinner. He was having back spasms, so I was worried that he would have back spasms during the dinner. But when my dad has back spasms, he lies naked on the floor with a hot cold pack on his back. And I was really worried he was going to lay down in the middle of the restaurant and start demanding a hot cold pack. <laughs> and I was also worried about the check. I was like, they're going to fight over the check. That's normal. But what if they do something weird? Like, what if they start arm wrestling? <laughs> and then the other thing I was afraid was that, like, race was going to come up. Because my dad's really proud of the fact that, like, one time someone asked him, so are you half or what? And I was like, really, really concerned that he was going to tell our Indian waiter like, I thought he was going to call him Jamal and ask him if he'd seen The Wire. <laughs> I, I was really concerned. But the thing I was most afraid of was that there was going to be nothing to say. And that I would, have to, I would have to step up and do what it is I always do when there is silence. Penis! 